actually, it looks like uh, looks like somebody buffed up some red oxide primer. Now, I've seen on the internet some other people have these, and they are bright red. So definitely look for any color variation that you can find on this uh, on the side tampo here, because man, they are out there. TV. Today we have the brand new C case from our friends at anjtoys.com. They sent them to us so we can show them to you. Cool, right? Let's get the trusty fishing knife, open it up, and see what is in the brand new C case. Well, looks like we gotta sharpen the old trusty fishing knife. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, we have the 76 Greenwood Corvette, which we got in the last case. We have the Hyper Rocker, which we got in the last case. We have the Roller Toaster, and that's done in the last case. Next three. The Chrysler Pacifica, that looks pretty good. That is done in a nice dark candy apple red. Has a black interior, as far as I can see. The window is very, very dark, smoked. Um, I can see from the, uh, looks like spare tires in the back there, that uh, the interior is black. Tampos on the side are white, black, and orange. Also on the, uh, on the hood. The wheels are all small, new style, off-road five spokes, and the base is dark gray plastic. The Dune It Up, and that is in the last case. The uh, Diaper Dragger, that was in the last case, maybe last couple cases. Pedal de Metal. And we got that in the last case. Oh, looky here. We have the HW450F motorcycle. And that is done in yellow enamel. The handlebars and the front fender are blue plastic, dark blue plastic. The wheels are gray. And uh, let's see, the tampos on this are, uh, are orange, white, black, pearl blue, and blue enamel and the uh, engine and uh, you know frame and the rear uh, swing arm is blue tint metal another of the two jet z this is the car that was uh, uh one of the winners from the uh, legends series and we got that in the last case we featured that in the last case Oh, the 8 Crate is back. One of my all-time favorites. You guys know that I love two-door wagons. This is beautiful. A nice metallic gray. It has um, a chrome interior, and the engine is in the back. Big, uh, looks like Hillborn injection on this one. And the windows are a dark tint. The base is uh, a black plastic but it also has chrome front grille and bumper and a chrome rear bumper. So that must go with the interior and the engine. The tampos are uh, dark red and black and the wheels are blacked out steelies with a red chrome ring on them. Big ones in the back and little ones in the front. And man, I do love that car. Yes, I know it's a Ford, but I do love it. Love two door wagons. The 89 Porsche 944 Turbo in red enamel. Got that in the last case. The Dodge Viper uh, SRT10 ACR. Got that in the last case. And remember, there's two different colors on that yellow uh, stripe on the nose and the side. One is a yellow and one is a mustard yellow. And I showed that in the last case. 
Oh, look at that, 68 Chevy Nova done up in an olive camel. Two different color uh, olives there, light and dark olive, and they are not shiny at all, of course. Uh, that way, uh, you know, when you're driving down the street, uh, nobody can see you. You know what I mean? It's camouflage. Hey. But uh, the only tampos on this are uh, on the hood, the uh, SS scoops. Uh, I think, I think it, was it the 350s or just the 396s had... The, uh, the scoops on the hood. I don't I don't remember. That's a long time ago, 68. But uh, they're done up in black. And on the side is the uh, the teeth and the eyes like they used to have on the old P-51 Mustangs back in World War II. And uh, there's a Hot Wheel logo on, on the quarter panel. The wheels are blacked out steelies with a red chrome ring on them. Got big ones in the back, little ones in the front. And interior is black and the windows are clear. Base on this is chrome, uh, which goes along with the, the grill and the front bumper, and the rear bumper, and the, the panel where the tail lights are. And this is a pretty nifty looking car. Saw somebody do a custom of this on, uh, on, on the internet, and they put some really nice wheels on it, and it looked really, really nice. nice. But hey, it's a Chevrolet, of course it's gonna look nice. <laughs> Ooh, the embosser is back. And that is done in yellow plastic. The ramp is orange plastic. The base is a pearl blue plastic. The wheels are blacked out steelies all the way around. They're all the same size with, a, uh, with an orange chrome ring on them. And in the center of ramp there is uh, blue tint metal. The tampos on the side are Blue, pearl, and white. And I do love that truck. Oh, look at that. Roger Dodger. Man, that is one good looking Roger Dodger. I'll tell you what. It is uh, semi gloss black, has uh, gold on the top, the great big R with some. Uh, actually, uh, there is gloss black behind that gold R on the roof. And there's also gloss black behind all the gold on the hood. On the side is uh, silver and gold. Well, it's kind of like uh, the old Christmas song there, silver and gold. But uh, yeah, looks really neat. This looks like a Christmas car. This is from the uh, Hot Wheel Art Car series. But this could definitely look really cool hanging on your Christmas tree. Uh, base is pearl gold plastic. The wheels are gray steelies and they have a gold chrome ring around them also the tires are gray and the engine is great big chrome one interior is chrome and the windows are amber very dark smoked amber the uh, exhaust uh, has got zoomies coming out and they are chrome also this is a really cool looking car we have the slide kick from the last case. Oh, for you Mopar guys, look at that. 68 Dodge Dart, and that is done in a pearl green. The uh, interior is black, windows are tinted, and the tampos on the side are red, white, and blue, and some black. And that looks really, really nice. Got a uh, hemi scoop on it, and uh, got some black on the on the hood on that hemi scoop got white dodge on the on the front of the the hood got a black stripe on the roof and down the uh, trunk and it has a chrome base the wheels are uh, chrome mc5s and that looks pretty pretty nifty 2008 Lancer Evolution, or Evo as the kids call it. And this is done in gloss black. And the paint on the side on this one is a very dull, actually it looks like uh, looks like somebody buffed up some red oxide primer. Now I've seen on the internet some other people have these and they are bright red. So definitely look for any color variation that you can find on this uh, on the side tampo here because man they are out there um, interior is black windows are lightly tinted 
The wheels are orange chrome 10 spokes, large ones, all the way around. Uh, base is red plastic, and this is a cool looking car. Definitely one that there are variations of already, so keep your eyes open. Ooh, look at that. Rockin' Santa sled. That is neat. It is uh, satin gold metallic on the top. It's got uh, red stripes with uh, white stars. And it's got a, uh, a green Hot Wheel logo on the back of it. Show Santa on the card. So I guess that must be Santa in there driving it. Of course, it says Rockin' Santa Sled. So, hey, there you go. It's got chrome on the sides with some uh, some black plastic also, which is probably, yeah, I can see it's the black plastic goes with the base. The wheels are pearl white, and they have red chrome bi-spokes on it. Pretty nifty looking uh, Santa sled there. The Hollinator. And then we got that in the last case, or maybe a couple back there. We have the Cruise Bruiser, and that is done up in red enamel. It has lots and lots of colors on it. Chrome interior, chrome engine, has a black plastic base. Front tires are blue. The wheels are white, five spokes. Back tires are black, and the wheels are blacked out PR5s with a yellow ring on them. We have the Grupo X24, and it is from the last case. Put that over there. The Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. And we got that in the last case. Check it out in the B case. Also, the cool one. Got that in the last case. Oh, another Pacifica. And the Porsche 917 LH in a dark candy blue. The last case. Another of the Porsche. Or Porsche, as some people say, but you know, uh, the guy named uh, Porsche, that was his name. So I guess he named it after himself, so I guess we have to call it Porsche. Uh, custom 71 El Camino, and uh, that looks pretty cool. And of course, you guys saw my, uh, my mullet picture in the last case when I uh, did the El Camino, the other one. Oh, another of my favorites, the Heavy Hitcher, and we showed that in the last case. Oh, look at that. 64 Chevy Impala, and that is done in a nice candy blue, a light candy blue on there. The uh, engine and, what is that, the exhaust coming out the back there? Hmm. They're done in chrome, interior is chrome, the window is a dark smoked. Tampos on the side are white and looks like some silver and black. Base is gray plastic. The wheels are chrome PR5s. Great big ones in the back and big ones in the front. The front grille and the rear uh, tail lights are chrome, which goes with the engine and the interior. Um, and the bumpers are part of the base, which are gray plastic. We got the RV there yet, and that was done in the last case. Ooh, super van. There you go. That is from the Hot Wheel Art Car Series. That is done in white enamel. It's got the uh, King of Hearts on it. And it, but it shows the uh, the Ace of Hearts on the roof. Okay, all right. The window is red transparent. It looks like the interior is also red transparent, same as the window. The base is a very dark blue plastic, which is the uh, the front grille, front bumper, and the rear bumper. The wheels are red chrome by spokes. Big ones in the back. Little ones in the front. Kind of like a mullet. Business in the front, already in the back. <laughs> uh, Viper again. And another El Camino. And another of the Hollinator. Halfway through. What we got? 
Okay, we have the BMW K1300R motorcycle, and that is done in a pearl olive plastic, the tank is. Chassis is done in black enamel. Uh, exhaust is done up in silver, front forks are done up in silver. The wheels are uh, black, three spokes front and back, and the handlebars are black plastic uh, also. And that's about it. Another of the heavy hitcher. Oh, the Robo Race Robo Car. And that is done in a nice red enamel. Got some black on it. Center section is blue plastic. The base is a black plastic. And the tampos are uh, black, gray, light blue, uh, white. Man, it's got all kinds of cool colors on it. That's a good looking car. And the wheels are uh, white painted trap fives all the way around. The bat plane, and that is done in black plastic, of course. The windshield is transparent blue, and that is it, man. I mean, it's just black plastic. There you go. We have the 95 Mazda RX-7, and that was done in the last case. We got the skull shaker in a nice cool lavender pearl and uh, Larry's in there he's a uh, yellow plastic the front grill and engine uh, the skull are chrome the wheels are dark gray five spokes great big ones in the back little ones in the front and the base is a black plastic Oh, nice 96 Porsche Carrera and that is done in gloss black enamel headlights are done up in silver the interior is black plastic the windows are clear taillights are done up really really nice uh, says Carrera across the trunk lid or uh, wait that's the engine back there right against I guess across the across the engine lid uh, wheels are all small five spokes chrome ones looks really really nice the uh, base is black plastic and uh, man it is a cool looking little ride you know I love it when they do these just like they're supposed to look on the street you know it's not gaudy it looks nice really really nice another of the four GT40 from the last case Ooh, the poison arrow is back and that is uh, done in a mustard yellow the base is done uh, that way the wings are done the fuselage is a dark blue transparent you can see chrome engine inside in the chrome canopy the prop is orange plastic and man there are lots and lots of tampos on those wings there you are the base is dark blue pearl and it has orange and yellow and black in it all over the place. Cool. That is, I've always liked that. That's a cool looking plane. We have the head starter. And that is done in black plastic. Has a great big blue tint metal engine in the back. The base is done in a textured dark gray. It's a metal base. The driver is yellow plastic. The wheels are yellow five spokes big ones in the back little ones in the front and the tampo on the front is a uh, looks like orange then burnt orange and then yellow and on the side is a big white 22 and a Hot Wheel logo another of the Ford GT40 67 Jeepster Commando and that is done in a uh, aqua metallic really cool looking color the interior is dark gray along with the motorcycle on the back and uh, part of the, the the rear bed the windows are very dark smoked and uh, the base is a black plastic the tampos are just on the side and they are looks like a dark gold maybe a bronze 
and white and black. The wheels are the new style off-road five spokes and they're painted white. I guess the super treasure hunt is supposed to look like that. Definitely, that is definitely not it, but it's that body. Oh, speaking of treasure hunts, here is our treasure hunt for the sea case. It is the grass chomper. And that is done in orange plastic. The base is blue plastic. And the steering wheel and other parts are black painted enamel and they are metal. Got uh, big chrome exhaust, one coming off of each side there. The wheels are uh, blacked out five spokes, big ones in the back and uh, smaller ones in the front. And let's see what else we got here with this treasure hunt. The tampos on the side are yellow, black, red, and some blue. And you can see the treasure hunt logo right, uh, right behind the front tire. And there you go, our treasure hunt for the C case. Another of the 60H Jabby Nova. And another of the 2008 Lancer Evo. And I can see that the tampos on the side of this one are the same color as the other one. So we need to find the gloss ones. Ooh, Volvo 850 Estate. That is done in white enamel. It has a light blue tampo on the, on the back of the roof. The hood has a dark blue 850 and a black Hot Wheel logo and number 14 in a square on the front. Uh, side tampo is light blue and dark blue and it has some black also there. Uh, base is white plastic. The wheels are a dark gray painted 10 spoke, small ones all the way around. Interior is dark blue. Window is tinted dark. And uh, oh, there's a center section here, uh, which is the same as the, uh, the interior. And that is the front grill and uh, goes all the way through the side. Uh, kind of a side marker thing there or side molding. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty neat. I tell you, man, I worked on one of these. <laughs> no fun. No fun at all. <clears throat> Gives me chills every time I think about it. Took a long time. Oh, and we got two of them. Ooh, 65 Ford Mustang convertible. Love to see that back. Yeah, I know, I know. I said I'd like to see a Ford. But, man, this is a good looking. Always like this car, you know? And it's done in an aqua, really light aqua. Not not like it, not like when it first came out, that aqua. But it's uh, maybe maybe a light blue, maybe a robin's egg blue. I don't know, but uh, it looks really really nice. Got a white interior on it. The windshield is clear. The wheels are chrome aero discs. The only tampos on it on the side are uh, got the got the logo on the on the front fender. Uh, probably gonna say uh, what do they call two eighty nine. And I can't see that close, I'll tell you what. I know they didn't come in a 260, so it probably says 289 on it. Got the got the horse logo on the back of the front fender there behind the wheel. Looks like my uh might say Mustang on it. And it's got the uh, uh the louvers uh in front of the rear wheel. And it has a chrome base, which includes the front bumper, and on the front bumper is a license plate. And uh, the directional lights are also painted orange. And uh, the back bumper is included in that chrome base. And the tail lights, but there's nothing painted on the back there. And that looks pretty good. I'm glad to see that back. Um, up top on the card, it says Thunderball from uh, the 007 movie. So, cool. The Sword... The Sword... No, the sword warthog from the last case. Oh, look at that. The total disposal. And that is a cool little garbage truck. It's got a, a yellow plastic cab on it. 
has a blue plastic garbage bin, I guess you'd call it. Tampos on the side are yellow and uh, got the red and white stripe going down the side. Got a black grill, black plastic windows, black uh, exhaust on it, and fenders and uh, gas tank. That is pretty nifty. Also inside of the garbage bin, there is the black and uh, has a blue tint metal base. This is really cool, a lot of parts to this one. The wheels are blacked out uh, steelies with a white ring on them. Got big ones in the back and little ones in the front. That's pretty neat. I like that. Another of the Porsche and another of the, uh, the Hyper Rocker. Uh, we have the Power Rocket, which we got in the last case. Another of the Total Disposal. And the uh, Twin Mill Gen E, which we got in the last case. A lot of stuff from the last case, last couple of cases. Another of the High Tech Missile. Another of the 65 Ford Mustang Convertible. Another of the Roller Toaster. Toast is up, I'm hungry. Yeah, we're down to the last bunch in the bunch. And uh, another of the Rockin' Santa Sled, the 95 Mazda RX-7, and the 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. I think my wife had one of the Mazdas with rotary in it. She loved that car. Loves her Mazdas. All right, last three in the case. That is it going down over there. We have the 75 Greenwood Corvette. She also had one of them. She had a 91 Greenwood Corvette. Uh, another of the Bat Plane. And the 70 Ford Escort RS 1600 in orange enamel. The interior is a, looks like black tint chrome in there. The windows are dark tinted. Tampos uh, on the hood and on the side looks like pink. Uh, uh, kind of a mint green and black. All kinds of uh, tampos on this thing. The base is a textured black plastic. The wheels are blacked out MC5s with a white ring on them. It has front and rear bumpers which are chrome which go with the interior and it's got the uh, the black rally headlights on it and those go with the uh, the tinted windshield. And that looks pretty cool. Looks like a, a lot more parts uh, are coming with these. So uh, it looks really, really cool. And then we have our brand new 2019 C case from our friends at ANJtoys.com. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it when they send them to us so we can show them to you. So if you guys are going to buy anything online, you're going to buy cases, please check out ANJtoys.com. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Please make sure that you subscribe, and if you do subscribe, you better subscribe. Make sure you click that little bell, that way you get notified every time we have a new episode come out. Please share our videos, please tell your friends, and please be kind to one another. So until the next time we see you right here at Hot Wheels TV, hopefully we'll see you someplace soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.